We are asked to solve the radical equation, give the exact solution, as well as the solution rounded to four decimal places. When solving a radical equation with one radical, the first step is to isolate the radical on one side of the equation, which means for this equation, the first step is to isolate the square root of the quantity x minus two. Let's first subtract seven on both sides of the equation, which will isolate the square root term. Simplifying, we have negative three square root of the quantity x minus two, and then seven minus seven is zero, and therefore we have negative three square root of the quantity x minus two equals three minus seven is equal to negative four. The next step is to divide both sides by negative three. Simplifying, negative three divided by negative three simplifies the one. We now have the square root of the quantity x minus two equals on the right, a negative divided by a negative simplifies to a positive. On the right, we have positive four thirds. Now that we've isolated the square root, step two is to raise both sides of the equation to the power of the index. And because we have a square root, which means the index is two, we now square both sides of the equation. Squaring will undo the square root, and the left side simplifies to the quantity x minus two. On the right, the square of four thirds is equal to four squared over three squared, which gives us 16 ninths. And now we solve this equation for x by adding two to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative two plus two is zero. We have x equals 16 ninths plus two. Let's write plus two as plus two over one. We know we must obtain a common denominator to find the sum. The least common denominator is nine, and therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator of two over one by nine to create an equivalent fraction with the denominator of nine. So now we have x equals 16 ninths plus 18 ninths, which is equal to 34 ninths. So the exact solution as an improper fraction is x equals 34 ninths, but we're also told to give the solution rounded to four decimal places. So now we'll go to the calculator and divide 34 by nine. 34 divided by nine is 3.7 repeating. So in the fourth decimal place, there is a seven. The digit to the right is also a seven. Therefore we round up. The solution rounded to four decimal places is approximately 3.7778. Whenever we solve a radical equation though, we should verify the solution actually works so now we'll substitute 34 ninths back into the original equation to make sure it satisfies the equation. So performing the substitution, we would have negative three times the square root of the quantity 34 ninths minus two or minus two over one plus seven equals three. And to find the difference, we must obtain a common denominator, which is nine. So we multiply the numerator and denominator of two over one by nine. This gives us negative three times the square root of 34 ninths minus 18 ninths, which is equal to 16 ninths. Now we have plus seven equals three. Because 16 ninths is equal to the square of four thirds, this gives us negative three times the square root of 16 ninths, which is four thirds plus seven equals three. Let's write negative three as a fraction with a denominator of one. Notice we can simplify before multiplying. There's one, three, and three here and here. This gives us negative one times four, which is negative four, giving us negative four plus seven equals three, and negative four plus seven is three. Three equals three is true, verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.